the next few games I'm going to show, I'm going to show three more games, and they're all iOS based, and they're going to, I think, in my opinion, I'm going to show them to you in order of difficulty. Uh, the first one is called Audio Archery, and it's kind of a cool thing. You hear a sound in front of you, well actually you hear a sound and it starts moving around you, right? So as, as the sound levels off in both, on both sides of the headphones, that's when you shoot. So hopefully I'll be able to get a bullseye. I've done a couple, but mostly not. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm not going to pretend. That's like real life. Huh? That's like real life. Exactly. So it's actually, it's, this is, I, I like playing this game. It's kind of fun. It tells you how many points you should aim for, um, and, or what, the, what number of points will move you to the next level. So I'm going to just do this. This is on my, the first one was on an iPad. This is on my iPhone. 640 IP. Messages. 72 and red messages. Shush. <laughs> App switcher. Mail. Music. Papa Sanger. Messages. Ear monsters. Audio archery. Running. Okay, here we go. Audio archery. Voice over off. You missed. <laughs> Zero. Outer ring. One. Archery bonus, five. <laughs> Your final score is 38. Welcome to Audio Archery. Flick up with one finger to start. Flick down with one finger to hear instructions. Just gonna start another Round game. one. The target score is three. Three. Inner ring, two. Outer ring, three. So it's just kind of how you would imagine a standard bow and arrow type uh, interface working, right? You pull back, and when you're ready to shoot, you shoot. Um, and it's, again, harder than it looks, though this is kind of one of the easier games to play because it's, it's very, you know, it's just the concept is very simple. You're looking for, you know, you're looking for the, or listening for the audio to level off so that you can shoot and score. Um, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot more fun than it sounds. Um, yeah, is there a question? I have a question. Yes, please. So how do you know when you're looking, when you're playing the game and you're looking at the screen, how do you do you see that you, you hit the bullseye? There's actually nothing on the screen. So what happens is uh, I listen for the audio levels to level off on both sides of the headphones. And then as they do, that's when I know to shoot. So, and it makes the sound. So there's a certain sound that it makes when it hits um, the, the, uh, the target. And there's a certain sound that it makes when I, when I miss. And then it also announces you hit this part of the target or you missed altogether. But prior to you really releasing the arrow, mm -hmm. do you know? Are you aiming? You know, how do you know that you're aiming at the bullseye? Because you know, especially if you can't see it. Right. The bullseye is actually moving, so it's uh, the it's an. I, I guess how I would describe it is it's more of an audio bullseye than a physical bullseye. So it's all about the sounds moving, and when the sounds level off, that's how I know when to shoot. So it's more like a hot cold situation. Either you get it or you don't. Well, I mean, there's 
Yeah, I think there's there's cues to tell you when when you're more likely to get it, and that's that's the challenge of the game is to be able to to kind of be consistent or to practice so that your skill set increases or improves. Uh, or maybe you can think of uh, the hearing on the right side and the left side hits as it being triangulation. Yep. Up to, to the target. Absolutely, right. So when the sound's level off, that's when you know you're facing the target or when the target's facing you. Because you're, I'm not moving, but the target is. So the target is directly in front of me when the sound's level off. 